in this video i am going to show you how to do artifacts removal if if user has artifacts present in the data so i am going to first select a data for which i already know there are artifacts in it to show you the whole process so i selected the folder in which there are artifacts already present i'll select the folder i'll keep all the parameters as default right now and save the input parameters to a file now i'll open store names gui and select all the store names which are required in my data i have already shown this process in the individual analysis video i'll give a proper name to the store names and save it to a file okay please make sure to follow these instructions for the naming of the store names i'll create a new file it, this will show the path where the store name file gets saved i'll save it and then close this window I'll do the third step, which is reading of the raw data. You, you will see in the terminal this step happening. If there are any errors, you will find the errors on the terminal. After the data is fetched, you will see that this green bar will stop moving, will move to the fourth step which is extract timestamps and its correction. So after this step is completed, you will see plots of isospecific control channel and signal channel. So in my case, we will see two plots which will pop up in the after the completion of step four. So these are the plots which got popped up. Now if in, in both the plots you see there is are the artifacts present. So we will select the chunks of data which looks good and which doesn't have artifacts. So in this case if you see from here to here it looks good and from here to here it looks good. So I'll point, I'll put the cursor to the start of the chunk and hit space bar on the keyboard. It will draw a line. So it means that this start point of this chunk is selected. Now we'll select the end point by moving the cursor over here and again hitting the space bar. We will do the same for another chunk, select the start point, select the end point. Suppose by mistake you have selected the wrong point, then you can delete that point by hitting D key on the keyboard, D as in dog key on the keyboard. So say suppose this last coordinate was not selected properly, then I'll hit D key and it will get deselected and I'll again move the cursor to the correct point and select it using the space key. After the selection of coordinates of points are done for each chunk, close the window and the coordinates will get saved 
into a file you will you will see like this on the terminal i'll do the same process for the for this data i'll select the chunks which looks good and then close this window so after this so after the selection of these chunks and saving it to a file we will move to the main window and set remove artifact parameter to true save it to a file and run extract times stems and its correction step again okay we will also plot the z score to see how artifact removal thing worked so i'll select z score for the plot save it to a file also make remove artifact parameter true and run step 4 again so now as we have selected the z score plot you will see the z score plots at the same time you will see the removal of artifacts in these in figure 1 and figure 2 all the chunks we selected are just concatenated and being plotted and, and but if you see the z score you will see that it looks good after the artifact removal i'll close this windows and move to step 5 which is PSTH computation so this step is in progress right now after PSTH computation step is done we will see two plots like this it shows the transient detection how the transients got detected in the z-score trace we will close this plots and move to open visualization step so now i will open visualization GUI to check everything worked properly or not So yeah, visualization we gets opened and everything looks good. So whole artifact removal process worked fine. So this was the whole process to do artifact removal in the date when user has artifacts in the data. See other videos showing other features of Guppy.